Jesus, Mary and Joseph and Jesus. Hey, it's time to cook. Pretty good. And I will make it seafood in a steam pot. It's easy. And it's good. And it doesn't take very long. So I'm already kind of drunk. Just a little bit. Let's have some wine. Got a Buddha box in the fridge. It's a Riesling. That needs to chill. I'm gonna put an ice cube in it. Don't judge me. You're gonna need some bread. I recommend the French bread for this application. One loaf. 350, bread in the oven. Gonna warm it up. You don't even need a pan. Get your pan on. Medium. You need a big pot. Big pot. I'm using a big stainless steel pot. A big one. Still uh, looking for that garlic internship. We'll feed you. And it won't be dog food. You're gonna need a lot of garlic. Four cloves or so. Oh yeah, cause we're fancy. We got some cheese here. We got some cheese here that, that you know, that I like to eat with the wine. It's uh, New York extra cheddar -y. cheddar. I'm not from Wisconsin, by the way. Spoilers. I'm not Vermont either. My little shit. My little brother doesn't think Vermont exists. <laughs> he recently was musing. I'm sure, he was drunk, saying that he's never met anyone in his whole life from Vermont, and nobody he's ever met has met anyone from Vermont. And I, I reflected over my life, and I came to the same conclusion. I don't know anyone from Vermont. I don't think it exists! I think it's New Hampshire part two! Them's fighting words, I didn't mean them! I'm sure Vermont is full of very nice ladies. Ice cube and the wine. Flavor improvement. Alright, a shallot! It tastes amazing. So this is gonna be the tits. Not just any tits, the supreme tits. And you don't, you don't need to chop this finely. Here it is. Kind of coarse chop. Well, that's not really, that's kind of like sliced. All right, so we got our garlic and shallot. You know what time it is. It's butter time. So, stick of butter, butter. unsalted. You're gonna add salt, number one. Stick of butter, number two. And, because you can't cook butter on its own, you gotta saute the butter in the oil. You get some olive oil in there, so you can saute your butter. It's an ancient technique. What I'm just channeling the gods of fat assery right now. Yeah. I don't even know how to make this dish. Add the garlic and shallots. Just need something to stir. Check on your bread. Oh, shit. All right, bread's done. Put that in way too early. Bread. Bread's gonna live there. All right, so you got your butter sauteing in the olive oil and the uh, onions in the garlic. I mean, the shallots in the garlic sauteing in that. This is called the double oil saute. Need a lemon. Quarters, not right now. Tomatoes, into slices, or chunks, or really however you want to cut them. I'm giving it the old, don't give a fuck. One. <laughs> no problem. Everything will cook out in your arteries. Jesus. All right, maybe you will turn up the heat a little bit. We're frying here. Fry like an eagle. This looks wonderful, wonderful. That's not how you're supposed to drink wine. <laughs> All right, add your tomatoes. Now, tomatoes contain a lot of nice liquid. This will kind of sweeten the broth that you're making. You're gonna dip your bread in. Cleaning all the wine off your face. Yes. Squeeze the lemon juice from one corner of the lemon. That's enough for now. All right, now, seafood steam pot can be any seafood you want. I recommend always doing shrimp and mussels. Additionally, you can add fish, clams, lobster, crab, oysters. I mean, really, any seafood. Cook it all together. All right, so we got this going here. We're gonna add the secret ingredient, Old Bay seasoning. So, uh, by keeping helping that seasoning there. Uh, it's a mixture of spices, including, including celery seed and paprika. It's just good. Oh man, I forgot the wine! Well, we should have put wine this like a long time ago. But, sometimes cooking ventures don't go how you plan them. So we're gonna add it now. This okay. is a Riesling, it's a white wine. And we're just gonna really pour it in there. So that was probably a glass. 
or so. Now we're gonna, we got the lid on high heat now. We're gonna let that alcohol cook for a second. While that's simmering, cooking down, start opening your packs of seafood. We found the mussels. What else we got? Oh, these are the, I got these, not even because I like to eat them, because they look good. Crawl that is. Crawl that is. Large scrimps. What do we got in this one? It's like Christmas. Opening all the presents that we bought. Some oysters. My last pack is some fish, I think. Some white fish. Probably swai. It's the cheapest fish you could buy. All right, time to start adding seafood to this mess. So the swai, here's some big fillets. You can cut it, or if you're a man, just rip the fish. I'm a man, it's fine. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? I'm just kidding, I'm chopping it now. <laughs> Fish, in she goes. Oysters, okay, and the mussels. Ha <laughs> ha, you were alive moments ago. Scrimps, oh yeah baby. These beautiful crawdaddies, they look fun. Okay, so you see the pot's overloaded. We're gonna push everything down into the good stuff, right? The crawdaddies are the least important part. They're already cooked, but it looks good, okay? Maximum heat possible, put a lid on it. Now we play the waiting game. Just kidding. More lemon. The flavor! Still that lemon in there. And there was a quarter of a lemon. This probably take five minutes, but it could take ten minutes. Well, you gotta actually watch your food. You gotta look at the pot. You might have to look at it two or three times. While you're waiting, chop your warmed bread into pieces. Get a bread knife. God damn it. Into pieces that will be appropriate to eat. Seriously, take the time to warm up your bread. It makes a world of difference. Nice! You got your bread. I personally like to serve this food on a platter. More wine. Oh, there's onion skin. <laughs> How did this happen? It's a more tolerable temperature. Been a couple minutes, let's check. Not done, gotta stir. Live seafood such as oysters, and mussels is done when it opens. So, this mussel opened up. Look at that guy. Well, it's hard to see on the angle, but you see he opened up? He's good. Shrimp's not done, oysters ain't done. It's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. It's got several barnacles. That's gonna take forever, but we'll be all right. Oh, and just cause we forgot the salt. Keep steaming, baby. Dogs, who wants the cheese? Here you go. Dogs love cheese. We raised them right. Five to ten minutes. Look at that. Your shrimp, they're pink, ready to eat. Mussels are open, ready to eat. Most of your oysters are fairly open. Might need something else to make them ready to eat. So yeah, seafood's done. Cool. So we take our good stuff, put it on the platter. This may take 12 years. We filled our platter to the brim. And there's more left over. Time to pour in the broth. Oh my god, it's more broth than we can handle. All right, now if you want to be extra super fancy, put a little pepper on that broth. <laughs> Completely unnecessary. And there you have it, my friends. This is a seafood steam pot with bread on the side. And you just are gonna eat it. I'll have a scrib within the broth. That's wonderful, wonderful. Got all this bread to dip in here. Also wonderful. God bless you and your family and your parents who are also your family. <laughs>